Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be doing a request. So this one is going to be a request that was for using a key card to unlock and then open a door. So if I press play, I'll show you what we do. So I can move around and I'm just going to walk over to this object, which is actually representative of a key card at the moment. So if I walk over it, I can then go near the door. It'll come up and say there, it says press E to unlock. So I can press E and then it says press E to open and then I press E and then it opens the door and then I can walk through and obviously I can add in that I can press E to close it as well but I'll leave it leave it relatively simple to start with so all I've got in the scene is some walls which are just cubes in the floor which is just a cube and then I've got a door which is attached to a parent where the hinges of the door is going to be so this is just so I can rotate on a pivot rather than rotate on the center of the door and then I've got the key card object which is just an object that's got a box collider which is a trigger on it the uh, door swing which is where the hinge is has got a another trigger on it which I've placed in a position that's going to be over the, the so if you're near the door basically when you get near it it's going to trigger and say you need to unlock this door or or you need to do whatever. I've also added, if you just see here, that when you get near the door and you don't have a key card, it says you need a key card to be able to open the door effectively. So obviously you can do that however you want, but just to add, have it into the code at the moment, that's how I'm going to do it. Now I've got this door script attached to that. Uh, and then after the key card, I've then got the player, which has just got the camera attached to it. And I created that using the way, the same way that I do the movement script. And if you haven't already seen that, then I'll, I'll send a link to the tutorial in the description down below. If I uh, look, open up the scripts, you can see the door script to start with. We've got a variable of unlock door, which starts off as false, so it's locked to start with. We've got a variable of open door, which is false, to say that it's uh, it's closed to start with. And then we've got a closed rotation, which is a quaternion, and an open rotation, which is a quaternion as well. And then in the start function, we need to set our closed rotation and our open rotation. So these are basically the rotations that the door is when it's closed and the rotation that it needs to be once it's open. So we get a nice smooth opening. So to start with, we just need to set the closed rotation to the transform.rotation because it starts off as closed. And then the open rotation is just a uh, quaternion ulia of zero minus 90 and zero. So that's basically a rotation in world space that is actually negative 90 on the Y axis. And we just set that to the variable up here. So we set it at the start and we can only access it straight from there ever again. And then we've got a function update if open door so that's changed during the player script so i'll explain in a second and inside that we've got a transform dot rotation equals a quaternion lerp so what that does is it smoothly rotates between one rotation one rotation and another so it's going to rotate from our transform rotation so whatever our rotation is at the moment and then it'll rotate it to the rotation we want it to be at when it's open i've got that multiplied by time delta time but that is going to be dependent on the size of your scene and whatever and how quickly you would like the door to open so you can divide that and multiply apply time delta time by whatever you want and it will do it based on your frame rate rather than doing it based on real time which will vary depending on your frame rate. We then go into player script. We've got a few variables and a bit inside here. So we've got a uh, variable of key card, which is false because we don't have the key card on us to start with. We have a variable of near door, which is false. So that ha that becomes true when we walk near near a door. We've got a variable of this door, which is a transform. And then that's set when we get near a door. So we've got access to the door itself. Inside the uh, update function, we've got if we press the button E, so if input get button down E and we're near a door and we have a key card, so as long as we've got the key card and we're within range of a door, then as long as we have a door set to the door that we're near and that door is not unlocked, so it's got an exclamation mark there. So this door.transform.getComponent door script dot unlocked door is false effectively. So as long as the door that we we hit into is false. We don't need the debug log. I've just had that in there for a bit of testing. Then we set this door dot transform dot get component door script unlock door to true. So effectively, if we press E on the door when the door is locked, then we unlock the door. Otherwise, if the door was already unlocked and we press E, then it's going to open the door as opposed to unlock the door. So it's going to have if open door is false, then the door that we are interacting with is open door becomes true. And then that sets off the update function here. So it'll open the door for us. And then we've also got a, a GUI for that. So we've got the text that displays in the center of the screen. So if we're near a door and we have a key card, then as long as we have a door saved as this door, that's just deep, it's just making sure we're not gonna have any errors that come up there. If, if that door is locked, then we have a GUI label. So GUI.label, which is a rectangle, and then it's got its position on the screen is the screen width divided by two. 
and the screen height divided by two. And then the size of the label is the screen width divided by 10 and the screen height divided by 10. Then it will display press E to unlock. Otherwise, if the door is already unlocked, then it's going to display a label in exactly the same position, but the label is going to say press E to open. And then otherwise, if we don't have the key card, then we've got to have a label in exactly the same position that's going to say you need a key card. And that's it for the uh, GUI. And then our function on trigger enter. So this is when we get near the door to start with. So if other.collider.gameobject.tag uh, equals door. So I'll talk through through which ones need tags in a minute. Then we have a uh, near door is then set to true. So we are near a door and the door that we are near. So this door, the so one that we have now hit. And so this door becomes the other collider.transform. And then after that, we've got if the other collider.gameobject.tag equals key card. So if we hit into the key card, then we're going to destroy the key card and we're going to say that we picked up the key card effectively. So we're going to own the key card then. And then we've got an on trigger exit for the door. So if we actually go out of range of the door, then we aren't near the door anymore. And then this door is then set to null. So we don't have a, do a, a door. So that will stop any of this from happening because we're not near door. And then this stuff will be e ended as well. So back into the scene, the things that we need to have tags on are the key card, which we need to have a tag of key card. So if you drop down here and go add tag, I've got the key card there. And then the door swing, the, the pivot of the door needs a tag of door on it as well. And then finally, just to make sure that you can press the button E, you need to go edit project settings input and then go on the size up here. You need to add because it'll, it'll initially be 15. You need to turn that into 16 like that. And then you just add one to the bottom here and you uh, you name it the uh, the thing that you were calling. So button press E in uh, quotations. You need to say that it's capital E there. And then the positive button is the E, but you have to set it as the lowercase E. And then that picks up the key on the keyboard. Just one more time if you press play. I can walk over to the door and it will say you need a key card. So I go and pick up the key card, get near it and it destroys it and then adds key card is true onto me. So now if I press E to unlock, It'll unlock the door and then I can press E to open the door and it'll swing open for me and I can finally get through. Um, so I hope that's been useful and I hope that's answered the question and I'll see you next time. <laughs>